The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number 19, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 27th of September 1974, in Calcutta, India. <laughs> At the time, loving devotional service is established in the heart, the modes of passion, rajas, and ignorance, tamas, and lust and desire, kama, disappear from the heart. Then the devotee is established in goodness, and he becomes happy. Chita etai dhanavidham, chitam satte prasidati. So, the principle is that we have to place our mind or consciousness in the satagun. That is the first business. Because the material world means Satagon, Rajagon, Tamo. Satagon is the qualification of pure Brahma. Sama Dhamma Titikha Arjava Gyanam Vijyanam Astikam Brahma Karma Sabhav. Satagon. These are the symptoms of Satagon. Without coming to the platform of Satagon, or Brahminical qualification. One cannot make any advance in spiritual life. Therefore, in our Krishna consciousness movement, we first of all bring anyone to the platform of Brahman. Therefore, at the time of second initiation, we offer the sacred thread to recognize him that he is now Brahma. Without becoming a Brahmana, nobody can become a Vaishnava. Or when one is Vaishnava, it is to be understood that he is also Brahma. The common word in India it is said, Brahmana Vaishnava. Brahmana should become Vaishnava, or one who is Vaishnava is already a Brahma. Brahma Janati the Brahma. So, a Vaishnava not only knows Brahma, but he knows Paramatma and he knows Bhagavan. Brahma Janati the Brahma. Simply by knowing Brahma, one can become a Brahma. But a Vaishnava, not only he knows what is Brahma, but he knows further what is Paramatma and what is Bhava. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavaniti, Sabi. The absolute truth is present in three features Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. The Brahma realization is the first. Aham Brahmasma, that is the self-realization. I am not this body. Aham Brahmasma, that is called Brahma Bhuta stage. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, that is the statement in the Bhagavad Gita. Here is also it is stated that Sthitam Shatte Prasid. Uh, everyone is hankering after how to be peaceful in mind. Everyone says, Samini, 
kindly say how I can get peace of mind. The peace of mind, how it can be attained, is stated here. Sitam Satya Prasidati. If you fix up in Satogon, not in the Rajagon Tama. Tamagon is the life of the Kormis. Tamagon and Rajagon. Rajagon is actually Kormis. And Satogon is the life of Ganis. And after coming to the Satogon, being peaceful in mind, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, you have to come to the platform of Satogon. Then you will be Prasanna Atma. Prasanna means happy mood of life. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, what is the happy mood of life? Na Suchati, Na Kankati. He does not love it. He does not hanker. Here in the material world, we are hankering. We want this dhanam dehi, rupam dehi, jaso dehi, dhubhuti, bharjang dehi, dehi dehi. That is hankering. This is not the stage of Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta stage means no suchati, no kamkati. He does not hanker. Neither he laments. Then, sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti lavati param. Then bhakti begins when actually you are in peace of mind. A disturbed mind cannot execute devotional science. Therefore, in the beginning, uh, if somebody all of a sudden becomes a Vaishnava and in a solitary place, I'm chanting. There is cheating. How can we, how you can chant? You cannot, because your mind is not fixed up. Your mind is not, no sujati, no kantati. Unless you are purified, your mind is always disturbed. That is the material condition. The mind must be disturbed. Sada samudvigna dhiyam, Prahlad Maharaj said, that is the material symptom. What is the material symptom? All is full of anxiety. So the asam of the beginning of Why? Asat grahat. Because he has accepted the temporary position. Asat. Asat means which will not exist. Here everything will not exist. This body, it will not exist. But I have taken this body as everything. I am Indian, I am American, I am the father of this family, I am the manager of the so big business, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Asadgra. But everything concentrated on this body. So he must be angry, full of anxiety. Asadgraha. He accepted this body. It's fair, but it is not fair. Similarly, the whole world, asadgraha, samadhi begin of dhyam. This is very nice question. Hiranyakashi asked his son, Prahlad Maharaj, my dear boy, what you have learned the best thing? You are a student. He said, the sadhu manne asura varcha. He addressed his father. He addressed him as asura varcha, the best of the asura. He did not address him as father, but he said, My dear, the best of the Osuras, Tanmane Sadhu Osura Vajra, Sadas Hamudibhigna Dhyama Sadhubraha, Hityatma Ghatam Griyanda Kupam, Banangatu Jad Rimasray. That is the best thing. One is rotting in this family life, which is just like a blind web. Andhapu. Atma ghatam. Just like a man falls in the blind web. He has no other alternative than to die crying, crying. That's all. So, he advises, Hitva. 
जस्ट गिव इट आप हित्या आत्मघातम अंधकूपम इंस्ट्रक्शन प्रहलाद महाराज सो ये भागवत से तदा तदा मीन्स एट दैट टाइम एट दैट टाइम वेन इट इज इन दीवियस वर्ड्स इट इज इन एक्सप्लेन दैट नष्ट प्रायशु अवधेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवय भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति भगवती नैष्ठ एट दैट टाइम वेन यू आर फिक्सड ऑफ in devotional service at that time toda not otherwise if you have no connection with devotional service if you are attached to karma gyan yoga you cannot be fixed up that was chaitanya chaitamrita say bhukti mukti siddhi kame sokoli ashant yeah we require toda sitam satte prasidati Prasidati means peace of mind, fully satisfied. But bhukti mukti siddhi kam at a time they cannot have peace of mind. It is not possible. Bhukti means karmis that trying to enjoy this material, more money, more honor, more eating, more, more and more. That is called bhukti. They are not satisfied by enjoying. on this planet they perform various kind of yagna so that they may be promoted to the higher planetary system sarvaloka or janaloka mahaloka like that but krishna said abrahma bhavana alu you rascal you are trying to be promoted to the higher planetary system for more and more material enjoyment certainly there is thousands and thousands times more material comforts in the heavenly planets in the chandraloka in the chandraloka they are trying to go into chandraloka and according to shastra if one goes to chandraloka he gets 10000 sab years his duration of life and in god so certainly there are many times more comfortable life standard of life very very high in the heavenly other planetary system but krishna says that any one of the planet you can go but the material disease will not be really the material disease janma mrityu jara bad we cannot understand this is our real disease repetition of birth janm and repetition of death janm mrityu jara vayadi a repetition of becoming old and bad a repetition of being affected by various types of disease so therefore intelligent man should see that even if i go to the brahma loka uh, when brahma was asked by hiranya kashipu Give me immortality, sir. He said, "I am myself not immortal. How can I give you immortal?" The Abhimanyu Bhuvanalu can pura bhakti na do. Krishna advised us, "Do, my dear Arjun, if you go to the Brahma Loka, many millions of years duration of life, uh, still you have to die. So that is the." Standard of highest perfection. If you do not die, if you do not take birth, if you know what are the miserable condition of birth to remain within the womb of the mother, not only to remain. Nowadays, modern advanced civilization, they are being killed by the mother. Not only abortion, but they are being killed. 
Now the Western world is very familiar with these things. So just imagine, first of all, you have to remain within the mother womb, uh, head down, packed up condition. You cannot move ten months, and that is also not secure. Within the mother's womb, you are not secure. At any moment, the doctor may advise the kids. So these are the miserable condition of birth, but we do not remember them. We have to know it from the shastra. So similarly, at the time of death, ah, coma. Nowadays, it is a very common disease. For seven days, fifteen days, is unconscious, crying. So this is the miserable condition of death. This is the miserable condition of birth, and between birth and death, there are so many miserable conditions. Uh, this old age, uh, this disease, uh, so many calamities, catastrophes. Then still, we do not want to make a solution of this problem, and the solution is very simple. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said. Jarma karma me dibbam jujana tikam. If you simply know Krishna, what is Krishna? Why does he come? Why he works like ordinary man? Jarma karma me dibbam jujana tikam. In truth, in actual fact, not that uh, Krishna was born in Mathura and then he was taken to Vrindavan. This is also. Knowing, but still you know what is Krishna. Manusha nam sahse shukasti jatati siddhay jatatam abhisidhyana kasti bhetti mam tato. It is very difficult to understand Krishna. Tato, not superficial, but in fact. So Krishna says, "Janma karma me dibham jo janati tato." So one who understands Krishna. In truth, he becomes free. Takta de ham punar jarmanai thi maame thi. These things are there. So why don't you be serious to study Krishna, to understand Krishna? But to understand Krishna, it will require Krishna's mercy. Without Krishna's mercy, uh, so how you get Krishna's mercy? तेषाम सततयुक्ता भजता प्रीतिपूर्वक बुद्धिजोग ददा जीन मूपया वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण बाय बीइंग कॉन्स्टेंटली एंगेज इन इज सेल्फ तेषाम सततयुक्ता नॉट दैट वीकली वंस गो टू दी चार्ज नो ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सततयुक्ता एंगेज इन कृष्ण सेल्फ That is Krishna consciousness movement. We are teaching people how to become twenty-four hours engaged in Krishna. This is our duty. We don't allow karma, gyan, yoga. No, simple. And that is Krishna bhakti. Gyan and karma are not brittle. There is no question of gyan and karma. That is not pure bhakti. प्योर भक्ति मीन्स अन्ना विलासिता सुन्न ज्ञान कर्मादना आनुकूल्य न कृष्णानुशील सिंपली टू सैव कृष्ण फेवरेट एज कृष्ण बिकम्स क्लिक दिस इज भक्ति दिस इज प्योर सो दिस कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मूवमेंट देर फॉर टीचिंग प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस टू कृष्ण दैट इज ऑल ऑल प्रॉब्लम So how one can come to that state? That is being explained in this portion of the Bhagavad. That sinnatang sapata Krishna punna sabana kibitana. Just here, you haven't got to do anything more. Just here about Krishna, sinnatang sapata. Then everything will be clear. Great. This is our purpose. The center is giving charge. That you come here and hear about. We we don't make any flattery to satisfy 
the wings of the audience. We speak from Srimad Bhagavatam, we speak from Bhagavad Gita and present them as it is, without any adulteration. This is art. If you like, then you make progress. If you don't like, that is your option. But we cannot make any compromise. We must present the Shastra as it is. And where is the difficulty? Everything is explained here. Nittana Bhagavata Seva. You have to attend Bhagavat class and serve the Bhagavat person. Nittam daily. If you cannot, that is a different thing. But this is the process. Nittana Bhagavata Seva. Nasta Prayeshu Avadrishu. This conclusion comes when one is partially advanced, not price, not fully, then it will come. He will be ready to serve Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam, the person Bhagavat and his book Bhagavatam. Nittam Bhagavata Sivaya. Bhagavati Uttama Sloke. Bhakti Bhavati Nashthiti. Nishtha, I have explained already yesterday. Tada, at that time. When you are fixed up, now I shall devote my life in Krishna consciousness. When you come to this conclusion, Nittam, that will come, Nittam Bhagavata Siddhi. Bhakti Bhavati Nashtiti, not deviation, but not this worship, that worship, this worship, this worship. Kamastasta Hitam Jnana, Jajanti Anna Devot. Those who are worshipping other demigods, that is recommended in the, for the less intelligent class. Tad bhavati arpamedhasam. These things are recommended for the persons who are less intelligent, whose brain is packed up with cow dung. Not intelligent person. Intelligent person, sarva dharma anparitajya mamekam sarva. That is intelligent. So, when one comes to this conclusion, bhakti bhavati nashti. Ah, bhakti where? Not that bhakti to this God, that God, not. Bhagavati! And to the Supreme Personality of God, bhakti bhavati nashti. Nashti. Without any disturbance. Tada! At that time. Tada! What is the result? Radastamam bhava. There are three bhavas. Rajaguna Bhava, Stamaguna Bhava, and Shataguna Bhava. So, as soon as you come to the platform of devotion and service, the two inferior qualities, namely Rajaguna and Tamaguna, they become finished. Simply, Shataguna remains. Because there are three gunas. If two gunas are finished, no more useful, then the other one is there. Tada rajastama bhava. What are the symptoms of rajastama bhava? Ne kama and no. Those who are infected with this rajastama bhava, they are very lusty, greedy, lovely. They are not satisfied. The modern civilization is based on rajastama bhava. Nobody is satisfied. Everyone is greedy and lust. Kama lobha dayastri. Kama. So long you are lusty, so long you are greedy, there is no question of devotion and service. There is no question of advancement in spiritual life. So therefore you have come to the platform of Satogon where simply knowledge, there is no other thing, ignorance or greediness, only knowledge. So at that time it is said, Cheta Etai Anavidham, because everything is within the heart. We become greedy, we become lusty on account of distortion of the heart disease, Kama, Tadari Ruga Kama Apohinati. That is a heart disease. This kama and loha, 
is a heart disease. Actually, you don't require it, but it is a kind of disease. More and more and more and more and more, and never satisfy. So we have to cure this disease. And uh, this process, simple process, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given. Chaitanya Darpana Marjana to cure the heart disease of lusty desires and greediness is chanting Hare Krishna Maham. Paranga Vijayati Sri Krishna Sankirtan. These are the Shastrik injunction spoken by personalities like Lord Chaitanya and other Acharyas. So you have to follow Mahajana Jena Gadasapantha. Don't follow rascals and fools, then it will be useless, waste of time. Follow the great Acharyas. Acharyavan Purusha Veda. One who is Acharyama, who has accepted Acharya, he knows. Others all are fools, rascal. Acharya. Acharya Upasanam. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said. Amanitam, Madhavmitam, Mahimsha, Khanti, Ajavam, Acharya Upasanam. You have to, first of all, worship the Acharya. Tadvigyana, Thamsa, Guru Meva, Vidache, Guru and Acharya. So, these are the process. Mahajana, Jinaka. You cannot manufacture your ways of thinking. What you are? Huh? You are most insignificant living entity and without following the Acharyas, without following the Mahajan, without following the Shastra, how you can teach? But people are doing that. Without being followed by the Acharya, without being followed by the Shastra, they become Guru, they become Shami, they become Yogi. It is useless. You cannot get. Here at the process. Process is given. Tadarajasthama bhava. Kama. Tada means when you are fixed up in devotional self. Then you can get out of this infection. These are infections. It is so dangerous infection. Infection anyone can understand nowadays, scientifically. If you infect some disease, you have to suffer. You cannot escape. You infect today, somehow or other. Not today, not tomorrow. But someday it will come out. It is called kutastha, palanamo, prarabdha, papa beach. Papa beach remains as seed, kutas, then it is fructifying, follow then you suffer, prarab. This is called prarab karma, infection. You are under the complete subjugation of nature. Prakite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa. This gunai, the prakite is forcing him to work because he has infected a kind of Guna. Karanam guna sangasya sadasad juni janmus. Karana. Why one man is born, one living entity is born as very rich man and one is born as a dog. Sad asad juni. Juni means mother and bija means father. Jatha jani, jatha bija. So, Every living entity is born, bija and joni, father and mother. So, why there are varieties? Nature is working, why not one kind of living entity? No. So the sadhjanma joni issue, there are eight million four hundred thousand subspecies. One has to take tatha dehantar prat. You have to change. But why one is in the lower grade? Birth, why is it higher than? Na karanam guna sangas. This guna. Ah. This guna, sada guna, raja guna. So you have to give up the association of raja guna and tamakam. Then there is question of progress. Otherwise, it is simply black. Therefore, in our society, we say, don't associate, don't be infected by this raja guna tamakam. This meat eating uh, and illicit sex life 
and drinking and gambling, they are a Rajagansam, Kama Lok. You see, there is a big race ground, gambling, Tamago. They are going there. Thousands and thousands of people are going there for gambling. This is Tamago. Why? Lobo. I must get more money. I must get more rope. Kam. Kama Lobhaga. So we have to get out of all this entanglement. Then there is spiritual life. Otherwise, don't talk of spiritual life. So this is fact. Tada. Tada means when you are fixed up in devotional service. Tada. Kama Lobhaga. I ask the day. Tada Rajasunam Bhava. We have to get rid of this Rajagun and Kamago. We have to be fixed up in Satagun. Pure light. Then, Sita Satya Prasidati. If you are situated in the Satagun, then you will be peace of mind. That is Krishna Bhakti. That is explained in the Chaitanya Chaitanya. Bhukti Mukti Siddhi Gami Sapoli Asan. Krishna Bhakta Nishka Atayem Shan. Krishna Bhakta, he does not desire. Krishna Bhakta says, I don't mind. Yo, I am born lower. That is because he chants Hare Krishna. Low born and high born, he has nothing to do. Uh, if one is engaged in devotional service, it doesn't matter whether he is low born or high born. As soon as he takes to devotional service, he becomes above low born and high born. Sagunan Samatitaitan Brahma Bhuyata. He is in the Brahma platform. So in this way, as they are stated in this Hastra, if you follow, then step by step. Uh, first beginning is Sinnatam Sapatapi. Try to hear Krishna's message. That is Bhagavad Gita as it is. You hear it, you understand it. What is the difficult? Sannatam Sapatam. Don't misinterpret. Hear it as it is. Krishna says, Manmana Bhavamad Bhakta Madhyaji Magna Maskuru. Hear it and execute it. What is the difficult? But uh, we shall not execute, we shall not hear. Uh, we shall not uh, act according to the instruction given. That is our misfortune. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore says, you are so merciful huh, that in this age you have incarnated, you have descended in your name, Nam Namakari Bahuda Nijasarva Shakti. And in the name there is all potencies. Parasha Shakti Vidayasya. There are multi-potencies of the Supreme Personality of God. All the potencies are there in the holy name of the Lord. Nam Nam Kari Bahuda Nijasadva Tattaki Niyamita Smarane Nakar Deshkal Patra There is no distinction. Anywhere, either in England or in Vindavan or in Calcutta, you can chant Hare. Niyamita smart, no kala kala vicha. This is Asuddhaka, this is Suddhaka. Anytime, Kirtaniya Sadhavani. You have to chant only Hare Krishna. So, this opportunity is there. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Etadashi Tabukripa. My Lord, you are so kind, you have given us this chance. Dutta Yuva Yudhisi Maha, Jani Nanda. But I am so unfortunate. I have no attraction for this chanting. Uh, this is our position. So if you are serious about peace of mind, if you are serious about advancement in spiritual culture, spiritual life, then you must follow what is there in the Shastra and spoken by Krishna himself spoken by Lord Chaitanya himself, then life is successful. Thank you very much.